Today we're going to be grilling up some lobster tails. Lobster tails being kind of pricey, people often assume that they're difficult and hard to cook. Couldn't be farther from the truth. Very easy to do and very tasty as you can imagine. For the lobster tails, I've melted about uh, half a cup of butter, a very generous amount of my favorite uh, rub that I use, and oh, maybe half a tablespoon or so of garlic salt. Stir it up really good. And then what I'll do is, when I flip the lobster tails over on the grill, put just about a teaspoon or so or a tablespoon on each lobster tail as they've cooked a little bit. And then I'll use the rest of the melted butter for dipping on the uh, table. All right, so I put the skewers through the lobster. And as you can tell, see if I can, uh, Show you the back side of it here. Just get them out so they come out just right under the rear fin there a little bit. This will prevent them from curling up while they're on the grill. Now the wind's picking up a little bit, but uh, shouldn't keep me from barbecuing and grilling tonight. So I'm going to set the grill or have set the grill to 425, and I'm going to be using apple flavored pellets today. For lobster especially, I usually like a sweeter wood. Uh, gives it a little better flavor, I always feel. Alright, so as you can see, I put some asparagus on earlier. I'm now going to put the lobster tails on. And I'm doing them upside down to start. I'll do about five minutes upside down like this. I'll flip them over and put a little bit of butter on both sides. Okay, there we go. The tails have been on about five, six minutes. I'm gonna flip them, put a little bit of more of my butter mixture on them, let them go another five to six minutes. And they're looking pretty dang good. We'll move this one down here and give it a little bit more heat. There we go. Okay, time to take the lobster off. They do look pretty darn good. There we go. Plated meal again. Looks good.